Howard Lima of We Are Change Connecticut and WeAreChangeCT.org, and this is Truth Talk News. The Federal Reserve Crime Syndicate has a new chairman appointed by Obama. Now, this deception is very clever. When the Federal Reserve Act was put into place in 1913, concocted at Jekyll's Island in 1910, uh, Nelson Aldrich and uh, the Rockefeller interests, the Morgan interests, which was the Rothschild interests through uh, Lazard, Frères, and others got together at J.P. Morgan's estate off the coast of the Carolinas and concocted this plan to steal the wealth of the American people, control the money supply by deception. We have a lying president who blatantly lies, and I will show you and indicate where and how much, with his discussion of the Federal Reserve Crime Syndicate. And it's a legal crime syndicate, but it is a crime syndicate nonetheless because it was all put into place by deception. Everything about it. There are no reserves. It has nothing to do with the government. It's a private corporation that prints the money for the American people. Every dollar printed is a dollar of debt. Every dollar of debt has interest on it. And why we have $17 trillion going on, $18 trillion is uh, the result a hundred years later. The magnificent work of the Federal Reserve has resulted in the bankruptcy of the United States government by 1933. In 20 years, America was bankrupt, and then they took the gold. They confiscated all gold in 1934. FDR did this with the New Deal programs put into place and putting everybody to work. In fact, somebody recently had some gold that was not put in. $80 million worth of gold, in today's value, was he, he foolishly uh, went to the government for assistance and discovered that they would take that gold, and they did. They took the gold. This is the truth. This is the Federal Reserve. Okay? You have to investigate this. Now, here's a little breakdown of President Obama's induction speech of the new Federal Reserve Crime Syndicate chairperson. Over the past five years, uh, America has fought its way back from the worst recession since the Great Depression. We passed historic reforms to prevent another crisis and to protect consumers. Over the past three and a half years, our businesses have created 7.5 million new jobs. Our housing market is rebounding. Manufacturing is growing. The auto industry has come roaring back. And since I took office, we've cut the deficit in half. What is this man smoking? Are you kidding me? So let me get this straight. So what the criminal Federal Reserve has done was create this bubble. Glass-Steagall being repealed, the derivatives going haywire, thanks to Bill Clinton being in with the Wall Street Boys in the 90s, 1999. Um, we have a uh, banking reform that, that has hurt the small banks, not the big ones that have contributed to the problem. Do your research, ladies and gentlemen. 7.5 million jobs in five years, and they're still on record 12 million, when truly 18 million people on unemployment. That's good. 47 million people on food stamps. 47 million people. 100 million people taking some sort of government benefit because they're not making enough money in their, in, in, in their low-wage jobs. Those jobs that were created are all created in Wendy's and McDonald's, which helps Monsanto. 
with their poisonous GMOs? Manufacturing? Where? In China? What manufacturing? In the auto industry? Look at Detroit. Detroit's bankrupt. It's, 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 it's like bombed out Berlin. Where, 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 do these, where, where are these cars being made? Where is this? What, what, what are you talking about? What is this big fabrication? Phony bullshit. Cut the deficit in half? I mean, whatever this guy is smoking, it's some really strong shit. Now, I think everybody understands we've still got a lot of work to do to rebuild the middle class, but we've made progress. They have made progress. They've made progress in collectivizing. It's collectivism. This is what's going on. These big mega corporations and these interests through the Council on Foreign Relations, the Bilderberg Group, all these corporate influences and uh, political influences uh, are dictating towards a one world socialist government where they tell you what to do, they tell you what to think, they tell you how to live, and it's really happening. This is no conspiracy theory. And here's the perfect example of it. Everything this man is saying, they're working towards the opposite objective. So when they speak helping the middle class, they're hurting the middle class, and haven't they? We are here as a result of the Bush Clinton, Bush, Obama administrations. This is the result. You can go even further back. Reagan also complied with these insiders. The Federal Reserve is the head, the heart of the secret government. Make no mistake about it. And we shouldn't do anything to threaten that progress. For these hard-won gains uh, have made a difference to millions of Americans, and in part we can thank uh, the extraordinary grit and resilience of the American people. Uh, in part we can thank the dynamism of our businesses. Uh, but a lot of it also has to do with the choices we've made as a nation to create more jobs and more growth. And one of the most important contributors to this whole process uh, has been the Federal Reserve under the strong leadership of Ben Bernanke. But look how he's, oh my goodness, he is just totally stroking Ben Bernanke. For nearly eight years, uh, Ben has led the Fed through some of the most daunting economic challenges of our lifetime. For some time now, he's made it clear that he intends to finish his service as chairman at the end of his term, which is this January. Uh, so today, I just want to take uh, a minute to pay tribute to Ben for his extraordinary service. Uh, but I also want to announce my choice for the next chair of the Federal Reserve, uh, one of the nation's foremost economists and policymakers, current Vice Chairman Janet Yellen. Uh, you know, after I became President, uh, I was proud to nominate Ben for a second term. Uh, and while the Fed is and must always be independent, uh, I want... No blatant mind control there. Sure, the Fed must be always be independent, but they take the independence and the liberty away from the people. Wake up, sheeple! Is this for real? A am I in a Twilight Zone episode? These lying criminals are robbing us blind, and he's being congratulated for being such a good criminal! More folks can pay their mortgages and their car loans. It's meant more growth and more jobs. Uh, and I'd add that with his commitment to greater transparency and clarity, <laughs> he didn't just say more transparency and clarity, did he? <laughs> for his brilliance, like Larry Summers was stroked for his brilliance in the, uh, in, in the past, and all of these other financial gurus who created these problems. Come on. My God, this, this implosion was a setup. And it's disgusting. And I am disgusted. First of all, as I said, this big deception. The Federal Reserve Act was written by these criminal bankers. And they were given the authority, okay, by the President of the United States to choose the top person. You think the President picked this woman? You know, Ben, I'm personally very grateful to you uh, for being such a strong partner in helping America recover from recession. Uh, 
Perhaps it's no surprise, as the son of a pharmacist and a school teacher, that Ben Bernanke is the epitome of calm. Uh, and against the volatility of global markets, he's been a voice of wisdom uh, and a steady hand. At the same time, when faced with potential global economic meltdown, he has displayed tremendous courage and creativity. He took bold action that was needed to avert another depression, helping us stop the freefall, stabilize financial markets, shore up our banks, get credit flowing again. And all this has made a profound difference in the lives of millions of Americans. A lot of people aren't necessarily sure what the chairman of the Federal Reserve does, but thanks to this man to the left of me, more families are able to afford their own home, more small businesses are able to get loans to expand and hire workers, more folks can pay their mortgages and their car loans. It's meant more growth and more jobs. And I'd add that with his commitment to greater transparency and clarity, uh, he's also allowed us to better understand the work of the Fed. You know, uh, Ben has uh, led a new era of Fed speak. Fed speak? Oh my God. Welcome to the New World Order, ladies and gentlemen. More to come. Much more. Don't be sheeple, people. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Go to wearechangect.org. I'm Howard Nima. Thank you for watching Truth Talk News, where news the mainstream media ignores is the top story. For more truth, subscribe to Freedom First Films on YouTube and Truth Talk News on Livestreams.com.